Hello, hi, hello and welcome to my next video and today the video I've decided that it's going to be a vlog style video so um, I'm going to be taking you to uh, another place, another art destination I'm going myself uh, to see exhibition at Nottingham Contemporary which is uh, called uh, From Ear to Ear to Eye and this is a group exhibition of artists from the Middle East. It's going to be a selection of installation, sculpture, photography, video, so many different types of art and I thought it would be fun to take you with me. And from now on, I'm really sorry, but it will have to be over voice. I didn't do the best job of vlogging in the gallery. So here I'm going through the cafe which they have at the back of the gallery so it's the back entrance and uh, we got a nice coffee and nice cake just before we uh, saw the exhibition the exhibition itself spreads across six rooms and showcases works by almost 20 artists who work with sound are musicians themselves or explore oral stories The exhibition opens with an immersive installation earshot by Lawrence Abu Hamdan. Abu Hamdan created an installation encompassing sound, photographic prints and video to reflect more broadly on the aesthetics of evidence and the politics of sound and silence. This work is about sound which can be measured, analysed and used practically as evidence in a court case. On the contrary, the works in the middle galleries connected to oral histories are unscientific and unmeasured. Cultural material can be successfully preserved and transmitted orally from one generation to another through speech, language and song, surviving conflict much better than the written word. Etel Adnan, an artist whose accordion folded painted books are displayed in the middle gallery, talks about this phenomenon in the film screen next door. Human memory is influenced by personal beliefs, imperfect and hazy, just like out-of-focus dreamlike photographs of the Lebanese coastline by Zayad Anta. Another attempt to capture history is present in work by Polish artist Ania Dombrowska. She used a large photography and film archive by Lebanese journalist Diab al karsifi as a starting point for her installation dedicated to the legacy of this man. The last section of galleries focuses more directly on music and songs as well as their cultural impact on societies. A Magical Substance Flows Into Me is an over an hour long poetic film in which Jumana Mana interviews representatives of different communities all over Palestine and Israel, asking them to play music and tell stories. The film reveals that segregated communities share similar cultural histories and suggests that perhaps the shared heritage might be the antidote to violence. Music can unite enemies, but might also unite people against their enemies, make groups stronger, raging against the status quo. Iraqi artist Hiwa Kay used this aspect of music in his performance intervention This Lemon Taste of Apple. From Ear to Ear to Eye showcases some of the most interesting works by contemporary Middle Eastern artists, coming mostly from countries troubled by conflict. It's a vast exhibition that spreads across many galleries. It has got at least two over an hour long videos, so really requires the viewer to invest time to digest the content. And, but once you do that, you won't regret. It's a wonderful show that really examines and reminds us of the power of sound and spoken word which have so many times helped people get through difficult times. So I think where there is music there is also hope and 
for me this exhibition is about hope.